Commander Hawkins, sir. Good to see you, Dalton. I'll get right to the point. Your request for reinstatement in the Marines has been denied. Again. I know you're disappointed, but we can try again in six months. Can I buck it up the line? I spoke with General Drexler personally. It was no go. Damn. When you return to your ship, you'll have a new pilot. He's a hex core alien named Naban. We got him in an officer exchange program. He's some kind of muckety-muck on his home planet, and the brass want him kept out of harm's way. You've got the quietest patrol, so you're it. I'm getting mighty tired of babysitting the ass end of nowhere. The Colonial Authority isn't so bad, John. We don't see as much action as the Marines, but our tradition of service is just as strong. Save it for the recruits, sir. I know the score. Stow it, Dalton. We've got a new refresher course set up in the basement. Either give it a run or get back to your ship. Dismissed. Do you want to take the training run? Or get back to your ship? I should be getting back. Safe journey, John. <laughs> First Officer Ida returning command of the ship. Ready for the briefing? We're headed for huh? search. The system two way? Can you hear me? Don't bother talking back. The system's only one way. I won't hear you. Glad we can chat. Boy, am I glad to see you. TCA. I wasn't sure anyone got this rescue. I'm Danny Miller, level one technician. I hope you're here to rescue me. This is the way I'm getting out on my own. Everyone I see on the security campus is dead. I'm barricaded in a security office over in the generator building. I'll have to go through the collection plant again. The main one is blocked. Hold on, I'll open the hatches to the runoff basin. It's a short swim. There's a camera on the other side, so I'll see you when you come up. Jesus, John. Are we ever that green? How's your suit pressure? Fine. You ever heard the expression, blood is thicker than water? Well, it's true. Get away from the camera, you space monkey freaks! Leave it alone! Stuff is unstable. A straight shot might set it off. 
see any of those creatures around. I think you got an easy ride from here on in. This is a vacation spot for Scar. He's probably checking up on us as Aryan grunts. I don't like this, John. Emergency shutdown in three, two, one. Emergency shutdown complete. Pull out. Negative. Your job's done. The fighting scar isn't in the mission profile. That kid decided to keep the artifact from the scar. You think I'm gonna just walk away? Get me down there. Forget it. I'm going, whether you help me or not. Go to the control room and power up the generator. And you better hope they kill you, because if they don't, I will. Nice work, Marshal. You should have been a Marine. 
Don't get me started. That the artifact? Doesn't look like much. Must be important to someone, though. Okay. We'll take it from here. Take care flying out. The area is still plenty hot. Will do. Semper Fi. were shot down before they reached escape velocity. Their ship crashed in a forest on the far side of the planet. They've still got the artifact. They've set up a perimeter and will hold position until you arrive. guide you to the crash site. The indigenous creature shouldn't give you any trouble, but somebody shot that ship down. Whoever did is probably still around. Go get the Marines and move into a clearing big enough to set the Atlantis down. I'll see you soon. Roger. Everyone make it? All three of us. Ready for action. We need to scout out a clearing. Way ahead of you. There's a spot about two clicks away. Perfect for a dropship. There's not gonna be a drop. What? We're bringing the Atlantis down. Holy <laughs> shit. Can you do that? Piece of cake. All right, Marines, look sharp. We're moving out. Stay close, Marshal. We get separated. I'll come find you.
There are two entrances to the clearing. We gotta cover them both. Benelli, in between those rocks and set up a turret.
30 seconds. Ready for the briefing? Looks like I'll be on this elevator till early next week. How's it coming with that security item? Still hacking. Done in a minute. Huh? <laughs> 
entering the materials laboratory. What a mess! How will you get up to the control room? That's why I get the big buck. Emergency override 347 accepted. Lockdown disengaged. Which way out, Ada? The main route is blocked. A schematic show an access hatch at the end of the plasma beam tube. Can you squeeze yourself down there? Who pulls me out if I get stuck? Not me. Bon and Isaac can draw straws. John. Let me give you some history. A little over a year ago, our Axon Corporation discovered two of these artifacts and set up labs on Hell and Janus to study them. What do these things do? No one knows. We know they're virtually indestructible and that they emit energy in a way we haven't begun to understand. How many of them are there? Seven. Buried on different planets for millions of years. Unfortunately, the Izanagi and Leandri corporations caught on and have started massive hunts on their own. How do the Scar fit in? They know we want them, so they want them too. So what comes next? You may yet get your wish, John. General Drexler is temporarily recommissioning your ship as a Marine Corvette. As of now, you and your crew are all temporarily restored to your former ranks. Will it be permanent? Perhaps. I've been brevetted to the Marines as well, 
And your orders will come through me. Afterwards, I'll go back to the TCA, but you might be in for good. I've already briefed Ida on your next destination. Good luck, John. And good hunting. Yes. Let me get this straight. They're desperate to get this thing, so we're gonna blow it up? We're just gonna give it a nudge. Pry it loose. And they don't think the creature will mind? I guess we'll find out. Then let's get it over with. This place gives me the creeps.
The Izanagi are not at all happy with your incursion on Asheron. They are massing their forces on Severnaya. The fleet on Severnaya draws its power from energy generated by the Minkowski Dam. Pardoning me, but is not dam one of the forbidden words? Later, Naban. Go on, Ida. A squad of marines made a commando raid to blow the dam, but the mission went bad and they're stranded. We know there are at least two of them alive down there, and our orders are to recover them. Got it. I'm on the way. Problem isn't over here. It wouldn't be there. If anything, it'd be in the power relay panel. <laughs> what the hell was that? Sea goat. Must have picked it up when we lifted those marines from sanctuary. That's the only place they grow, little bastards. Can you fix it? No, we gotta land. Damn. Naban, pick out a safe haven and brief the marshal. Why is Ida so much not liking Isaac? Years ago, Isaac and Ida served on a Terran capital ship together. 
He was the launch officer. During a fight with the Scar, the ship took a series of hits. He was wounded, got trapped in his compartment, and he panicked. That is not so unusual. The fighter crew was getting ready to launch. He opened the airlock too soon and they were sucked into space. After that, he just curled up on the floor. They had to break in to launch the other fighters. And Ida cannot forgive him for this? She calls it dereliction of duty. They beat off the scar, but her friends were dead. And Isaac never recovered. He got a medical discharge and dived right into a bottle. Now he's back trying to prove himself. And he doesn't know if he has what it takes. I am happily to be giving you a briefing. Are you ready? Probably. The Sea Ghost has damaged our inertial control systems. We are forced to land on the planet Calidon for repairs. It has a breathable Check this out. Our marine friends are fixed up with these. Deployable plasma field generators. Just like your weapons, primary fire puts all in place. And if there's another nearby, they'll link up to form a wall. When they all fire, you put down the last one in a chain. Your use of fuel will show how much damage it's taken. But if you use the fuel generator, it up. Keep in mind, they've got a limited cone of vision. Primary fire activates the turret. The use ready. The generators. These things are smart. They know friends. The entry scout drone. Set up some defenses. Hold off the mercs long enough for me to fix the ship. If any of them make it through that door, we're toast.
guys hurry it up in there? Isaac, how much longer? Hand me that wrench. Don't touch that. Marshal, we need more time. No sweat. More Leandre. Fighting as fast as I can. Here, Isaac. Let me help you. Push that button. No, not that one. More visitors. Jesus, did you send out invitations? Business, John. How's the ship? Good as new. I hope so. We've discovered a secret Izanagi facility on Sulphuron. Intercepts show they've developed a new analytical tool that helps them find these artifacts. We need to go in and get it. Another artifact hunt? Not this time. It's the information we're after. Go down there, acquire the data, and bring it back. Take care, John. You're the best we've got.
I've called in a technician to see if we can get anything useful out of that terminal. The Marines with him will take orders from you. Deploy your troops, and keep that tech alive long enough to get the data. You. Yes, sir. Watch the back door. Okay, I'll watch the back door. myself in your cabin. So, Kanaban, what can I do for you? I still do not understand why the hero of the Strider Wars is serving on this ship. You got a minute? I'll tell you. Ida was a child prodigy, a strategic genius. She was an international 3D chess master by the age of 10, and drafted by the Terran military before she was out of braces. About 10 years ago, at the height of the Strider Wars. Things were going badly for us. We were outnumbered and outgunned. It seemed only a matter of time before we'd be wiped out. Ida turned it all around. On an out-of-the-way planet called Tycho, she created a sort of electronic Potemkin village, a massive underground complex of transmitters and antennas. She made it seem as if the Terran military had concentrated their headquarters and most of their forces there. The Striders went for it. They landed in full force, right above the transmitters. Our ships had been hiding behind Tycho's moon. They came out and nuked the planet into oblivion. It was a brilliant victory. Yeah, but it had a price. 
Tycho had hundreds of Terran colonists, innocents who couldn't be warned of Ida's plan. When she activated the transmitters, she signed their death warrants. But because they died, millions lived. She knows that. She made the choice. But she's never forgiven herself. As she grew older, she rebelled. She thinks the military made her a monster, and now she doesn't trust them or anyone else. You should tell her to trust you. It doesn't quite work that way. Get out of here, stupid animal! Ready for the briefing? ago a squad of mercs came through armed to the teeth. They're after the artifacts. <laughs> Dr. Meyer is the only one who knows how to get at them. God help him if they find where he's hiding. You need any help? No, I'll just stay right here. Is there anything I need to know to get around in there? When all this started, I hit the emergency locks on the umbilical doors. But I'll open them up for you. Dalton, Terran Colonial Authority. Are you one of them? No, I'm from the government. I'm here to help. Where are the artifacts? I can get them for you. But you've got to get me out of here alive. Deal. Get going. I'll watch your back. Huh? It's me, Meyer. Maybe if you showed him a little respect. What? He's just a Kai. Okay. Please? Here they are. No, wait. I need insurance. Yeah. Get me out of here, then I'll turn them over. Fine, you hold on to them. Let's head back to my ship. What the hell was that? Bad news. The Leandre landed and blew up the bridge. There went your yellow brick road. You're gonna have to fight on up to the roof. I'll send the marines to the area. Call me. Ida? Ida! They're jamming the transmission. We gotta get up to the roof. Follow me. 
I can handle this. Follow me. Damn! The door is jammed! We've got to get outside. How about a little serving and protecting over here? He's over here! Hurry it up! Can't you try reasoning with them? You have to make such a mess! We've got to get outside. What's that going to buy us? There's a maintenance rig over on the other side. It'll take us up to the roof. Are you coming along? Are you nuts? I'm too valuable to risk out there. Clear the way, soldier boy. Call me when it's safe. How can we stay in touch? I'll talk to you on my headset. I've got a local net they can't jam. They probably don't know how to jam it. If I can get it running, we've got a chance. I'll show you where it is. <laughs> I was right. It's all here. I can make it work, but as soon as it powers up, they're going to know we're here. I'll need more time after that to tune in. How about we set up a defensive perimeter and then give you the word? That'll work. Let me know when you're ready. Ready yet? We're all set. Let her in. Okay, you're... Right off this rooftop. We're set, but you gotta raise the antenna. It's near marker four. the damn radio by now. I doubt that. They don't have instructions written in. Moron. Step out here and say that. No time. Besides, you're gonna have more company. Mark's on the way.
Ida, we're in the clear. Get us out of here. On the way. Orders from Drexler say to terminate all surviving non-military personnel. Who, Meyer? I'm not leaving him behind. Your orders are clear. He knows too much to fall into enemy hands. You're breaking up again, Ida. Can't hear you. Ida! Here's the deal. Give me the artifacts, I get you to safe transport. Otherwise, I leave you here with a few good men. Take your damn artifacts. Just get me out of here. Things are heating up, John. Tell me about it. Our researchers have been trying to decipher the glyphs on the artifacts. They speculate that if all the artifacts are combined, they'll form a weapon of unimaginable power. We cannot allow them to fall into the wrong hands. We've got five of them. Do we know where the other two are? The data you got on Sulfuron revealed they have a unique energy signature. We scanned for other occurrences and were able to pinpoint their locations. The Izanagi Corporation is a major installation and dig site on Nakoja Abad. They've found an artifact, but they haven't removed it yet. I've uploaded a holograph of their base for you to look at when we're done. So that's my next stop. Do whatever it takes. And now for the good news. Because of your outstanding performance, General Drexler has not only agreed to a permanent reinstatement in the Marines, but it comes with a promotion to Colonel. Congratulations, John. I'll be sorry to lose you, but I'm glad to see things work out the way you want. Something's not right about this, John. You're just paranoid, Ida. Everything will be fine. Huh? Something else has been bothering me. <gasps> you could have left Meyer back there on Janus. <gasps> In fact, you should have. <gasps> Why did you smuggle <gasps> him out and drop him on Vistula? <gasps> what was I supposed <gasps> to do? Shoot him? You didn't even like the guy. Yeah, <gasps> but he trusted me. By the way, did Hawkins tell you he wants to pull the <gasps> bond and send a replacement? What? <gasps> Why? Turns out, he's actually Prince Nabon, middle son of a Hexcore potentate. They thought they were parking him out in the boonies, but now they're afraid his royal hiney is gonna get hurt. Shouldn't that be up to Nabon? Ask him yourself. He's waiting outside. Makoja Abad is a world with a bizarre alien biosphere perpetually fogged in by clouds of hydrogen sulfide was originally settled by nomads of Arab origin and named it for the spiritual realm their mystics call the Land of Nowhere. The settlers never found the ancient alien structure only 50 clicks away. They soon left the planet weary of always wearing environment suits, never seeing a clear day and having everything they owned constantly corroded by acid rain. During a routine prospecting mission three years ago, a team of Izanagi geologists discovered the structure. They set up a research base next to the site and manned it with a rotating crew of scientists and a complement of ghost warrior mercenaries. The bond will set you down in a secluded valley not far from the deep side. Huh? <laughs> 
that component isn't meant for locomotion. It's got power conversion written all over it. What are you playing with now? I'm not sure. I think I figured out how to steal your power source. Contact! I've got the weapon. He was in the Marines once before. They threw him out. Why? Because he thought for himself. They called it departing from established mission parameters. One time, this colonel ordered him to leave a wounded civilian behind. He told the colonel to shove it and dragged her out anyway. So, he was a hero. So he was court-martialed, cashiered, kicked out. He went on cop duty, patrolling the ass end of space with the rest of us rejects. You can tell he hasn't changed, though. Pisses the hell out of Ida, but he still wades in with both fists and does what he thinks is right. Huh? 
The seventh and final artifact is on a planet in the star system NC962. It's a B-type star, a blue giant that burns hot and bright. The third planet will be bathed in a constant storm of radiation from this powerful and raw sun. We don't know much about the planet itself. It may be the home planet of the Drac, the creatures who built the installation on Nakoja Abad. Two survey expeditions came here when the sector was being mapped, but both ships disappeared. It was designated a Class V hazard zone. Look, I can't go on with this stupid briefing. Why are we doing this, John? If Drexler is so worried about someone combining the artifacts to form a super weapon, why don't we just leave this one where it is and destroy the ones we've already got? Problem solved. Destroy them how? You've seen how invulnerable they are. We've blown them up and bombarded them with ion beams, not a dent on them. We can't destroy them, Ida. And let's just turn around and go away. Leave this one alone. You don't need to die for this. Look at everyone who's been after these things. You think if we walk away, the Izanagi will too? The Scar? We need to collect the last artifact and turn them all over to Drexler. If I have to choose between us and the bad guys, I choose us. I'm not gonna stop you, John. But you're not seeing the whole picture. When you do, you're not gonna like it. I persuaded Hawkins to let us keep Nibon. Good thing, too, because I wouldn't trust anyone else to get the dropship <gasps> down in there. I heard. Now he thinks you're God. Tell me about these Drac. We haven't had much time to study them. They appear to be a form of artificial life, robotic creatures who create and repair their own bodies, having killed off their biological ancestors centuries ago. I'm betting they're almost completely invulnerable. The toughest enemy you've faced yet. I've been thinking about Tycho. I don't want to talk about that. I do. You can't forgive yourself for sacrificing those people. I didn't sacrifice them. They weren't pawns in a chess game. You can say it. I killed them. And you can't forgive yourself. You think you betrayed them. But have you ever wondered what they would have chosen? I didn't give them a choice. But if you had, don't you think they might have said, go ahead? Don't you think they might have weighed their lives on the same scales you did and said, it's better that we few die so millions more may live? That's the same choice humans have been making for centuries, Ida. You can't destroy yourself because you were the one who had to make it again. Get out of here. <laughs> Isaac is <laughs>
name did they do to these people? We're headed for Avalon. Home. I can't wait to turn these damn artifacts over to Drexler. What's the plan? We keep him here in orbit. You go down and talk to Drexler. He tells you in person where he wants them. That way there's no radio transmission and no chance of unfriendly ears hearing where we're gonna land. How's the ship? Isaac's really held it together. I'm surprised. Maybe you should tell him. Maybe I will. Huh? <coughs> <coughs> going on? The Scar have landed in force. They've taken over the base and they control the planetary cannon. I tried to raise General Drexler, but none of his people even seem to be here. This must have been some kind of trap. The only friendly nearby is Commander Hawkins. He made it off planet and he's up here in his flagship, the Dorian Gray. Can you get me out of here? I can't come get you while the cannon is active. You'll have to disable it. How? The controls are in the tower. You know the way. No money. Bye.
Bravo squad leader. Our twin is the building directly below the landing pad. We've set up a perimeter and can hold indefinitely. Get over there, John. I'll bring the Atlantis down and pick up the lot of you. On my way. See you soon, McMillan. Walk in the park, sir. Unless I take the Scar Free For All Express. I prefer a ride I can walk away from. Christ! I'll send out a man to fix the generator. Can you find a good vantage point to give him cover? That's why God invented the sniper rifle. I'm at the door! I'm outside! Objective in sight! Path looks clear! I'm near the fire! You got me? Eye in the sky has got you covered. Thought that scar had me. Looking good so far. I'm gonna blow the fence. You got as much time as I got ammo. Not a lot. Talk about spaghetti! Who designed this? Almost got it! Got you covered. Almost done. Bingo! Got it! Tougher than I thought. <laughs> Marshal, I appreciate the cover. You'd better catch that elevator before the scar catch on. Gotcha. Let's go! Position, Ida. Anytime you're ready. On my way.
attack. Dodge him, Navon. That was close. Here he comes again. We're hit. Isaac, damage? Patched it already. I'll keep us up. You fly the ship. Our shields will not take another hit. What's going on up there, Ida? I'll explain later. Hold on! Failing. No, it's not. Hit the reserves. Fly, you son of a bitch. The Atlantis is gone, John. Shot down. We did a search and rescue, but... Nothing. I'm sorry. After we picked you up, we recovered the artifacts from the wreckage and brought them up here to the Dorian Grey. Once we had them on, we were able to decipher the glyphs. They tell of an ancient race, the Tosk. Noble warriors who served their masters in battle. When there were no more masters to serve, their scientists hid their DNA within that of another race and forged these artifacts against the day they might once again be needed. The race that contains their DNA is still with us today. The kind. The artifacts became scattered across the planets. If we are to reunite them, the Tosk will serve us with weapons of awesome power. I will be their new master, and I will wield these weapons on behalf of the Earth in our battle with the Scar. It is possible that the glyphs lie, or that we have read them incorrectly, but I am willing to take that chance with certain precautions. Only one Kai, in a containment chamber, with you and those men standing by in case something goes wrong. Stand by. I am putting the final artifact in place.
recording this while you're up in the tower. Commander Hawkins just ordered me to dock with the Dorian Gray and turn over the artifacts. Suddenly it all clicked into place. General Drexler has had nothing to do with any of this. It's all been Hawkins. How could I not have seen it? Hawkins! But I'm not giving Hawkins the artifacts, John. He wants to use them for himself, but we're not gonna let him. Nabon and Isaac are with me. We're gonna hold him off as long as we can. If he shoots us down, he'll make it look like the scar, but you'll know the truth. Ian, Bon and Isaac want to talk with you too. Steven, take a detail and clear a path to the escape pods. Don't tell anyone or you'll start a path. I'll follow in a minute. Bastard! Star FG-708. External temperature exceeds shield capacity. Shields failing.